Here in California, we're prohibited from buying more than one handgun every 30 days. And starting in July of 2021, they're adding a measure to this to have the same prohibition for semi-automatic centerfire rifles. Today, we're gonna to talk about the opposition to this new measure. Stick around. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and thanks for joining us again. Uh, we recently passed the 10,000 subscriber mark, and we owe all of our success to you. So thanks for sticking with us and helping us get traction. Uh, today we're talking about a serious subject having to do with new legislation for 2021 in the state of California. In November of this last year, uh, Gavin Newsom signed Assembly Bill 61, which had several provisions uh, for gun control built into it, and each of them had different start dates. The, the one we're looking at right now is for July of 2021, when they are going to extend the provision for only being able to purchase one handgun a month to also include a second category of firearms, um, which are center fire semi-automatic rifles. Now, I'm gonna be looking down at a sheet because I wanna make sure I get this right and get you guys the right information. So the Firearms Policy Coalition, uh, in, in conjunction with, with other groups and other individuals, have put forth and filed a complaint known as Nguyen versus Becerra and it was filed with the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of California, challenging California's ban on purchasing more than one handgun or semi-automatic center fire rifle in a 30-day period. The complaint reads, the state of California unconstitutionally prohibits, under pain of criminal penalty, the average adult individual who is not prohibited from possessing and acquiring firearms even those known to defendants as such, from purchasing or receiving more than one handgun at a time. As of July 2021, that prohibition will extend to all semi-automatic centerfire rifles, thus applying to two large categories of constitutionally protected firearms that are unquestionably in common use for lawful purposes." Unquote. So what they're trying to do and what they've successfully done is basically give the governor a rubber stamp to um, extend more firearms controls in the state of California. Now, even though everyone has to go through a 10-day background check to uh, purchase a firearm, even people that have passed before still have to go through this over and over again. And that's what it means when it says known to the state. So lawfully abiding citizens are going to have one more roadblock in limiting their ability to, to buy firearms. Now, the Firearms Policy Coalition is taking the lead on this. And to quote them, Becerra allows a dozen categories of government-favored people to freely exercise the right to acquire and take possession of arms without being subject to delays or subjects to transferee or licensee or criminal liability or the risk of arrest and prosecution, unquote. So what they're talking about here is that there are exemptions given out to politicians, there's exemptions given out to Hollywood studios, um, in the entertainment industry that allow them to buy multiple firearms and avoid the weight, avoid all the extra red tape so that other groups can do business. So according to the FPC, California's ban on multiple firearm purchases in a 30-day period is without rhyme or reason, particularly when that prohibition is compared to those who are exempt from the ban. So it's the exemptions that are really what's unfair and unconstitutional. So the law that expands purchase limits is discriminatory. Because it limits law-abiding citizens from purchasing one gun a month, but allows Hollywood studios 
to purchase multiple firearms. And this amounts to an infringement on the Second Amendment. But it also amounts to an infringement on the 14th Amendment, which guarantees due process and equal protection under the law. The law should be applied evenly to all individuals and groups, and special exemptions should not be allowed. And this is the basis of the Firearms Policy Coalition's uh, lawsuit against the state. Now, if you want to help out, the easiest way is to support the Firearms Policy Coalition or the FPC. And we're going to put up information for them in the description box below. And this way that you can stay linked in to developments in the case, but also have a wider understanding. This is the time to fight. So we appreciate all of you for sticking around with us. We appreciate your help in this matter. And on behalf of Shoot of the Series, as well as Firearms Education and Training, I'm Ed Thorell. Y'all take care.